Hello, how are you today? I want to share with you about something that came up in a conversation with a married gentleman that I spoke with and he made the comment that he was, I guess, up for dating and that he didn't feel like his marriage was going to last. So he was already out trying to date and still had his wedding ring on and was out trying to meet women. So naturally, I had to have a, a talk to with him. And so we talked about things and he said that, you know, he felt like in his marriage that things had started to change and that they no longer wanted the same things and that it was time for them to um, divorce and end things because they were going down different paths. And so I listened to him and, you know, understood where he's coming from and said, you know what, I completely understand that. I, um... I did the same thing, although I feel like my situation was a little different. I got married way too young and didn't know what I wanted. And once I figured out what I wanted, it was very different from the person that I was married to. And and we did divorce. And I want to say that I think with growing up and with age um, and, and growing as a person that you start looking at life a bit differently. And... Um, I was sharing with him, I said, I, I hear what you're saying, but I also think that some of the changes that you guys may be having can be communicated out. It doesn't mean, oh, we have change, and so therefore it's different, and so let's end our relationship, let's divorce. Can we imagine if every time things changed in life, if we all divorced over changes, or anything for that matter. If you have a career going, it's like, oh, you experience a change and it's like, okay, I'm quitting. I'm done. And if we constantly quit things, how far do we really get? Do we really get what we want if we're always quitting? And so I talked to him and I said, you know, I'm not really convinced that that's the answer. And he said, you know, part of me knows that you're right. My parents were married for 63 years. So I, I do understand that. And I said, you know, I I feel like most of us as adults, you know, you think that it would be something amongst children, but even amongst adults, I feel like that communication is something that we really just don't know how to do. We don't know how to art articulate like our emotions. We don't know how to articulate what's going on inside of us. And so we blow up, we make these irrational decisions all because we're not really sure how to communicate it out. And so typically because we have a society that offers so much, it's like, well, this isn't working out, so why force it? Why go against the flow of things? Just end it and start with someone else. And when we stay in that cycle, we do we ever really get fulfilled if we're always moving from one situation to the next? Do we ever find real fulfillment in that? And so I started thinking about that and just speaking with this gentleman, it was like there was this, you know, it was up for debate, like commitment versus change. And I'm not really convinced that just ending a relationship, going through a divorce is necessarily always the answer. I think sometimes getting the right tools to learn how to communicate what it is that we want and making that a big priority. Listen, learning how to communicate is going to take a lot less effort than filing for a divorce and separating assets and going through that. It, it, it's just far easier. So I want to encourage you, if you are in a situation where you think just ending things is the thing to do, which typically has been what I have always thought to do myself, and I'm, you know, you're, I'm growing up and I'm learning that that's not always the answer. Uh, proper communication is huge and so um, as I encouraged a gentleman I said you know I think you really need to communicate it out I, I'm not really convinced that divorce is the answer for you so it's just something I want you to think about um, commitment versus change um, you've committed to something so why not follow through with it and find the proper tools such as communication to help you walk it out those are my thoughts go to ericaangelo.com for more, I've got plenty more there, and I appreciate your time with me, and I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Bye-bye.